Well, just this past Saturday, we did a video on the fruit on this tree. This is jackfruit, probably my one. And uh, there was one fruit that had cracks, pretty significant cracks in it. And uh, that was because I think of all the rain that we got last week. So we had one cracked one and two that didn't crack. So right here we have the two that didn't crack. They're still on the tree. There's a couple interesting things here. Um, first off, um, you know, this this is looking darn ready to pick. This one doesn't. This is uh, younger. Uh, so because we don't grow a lot of jackfruit, it's always a, a challenge for me to pick them when they're ready. Uh, I generally wait until they start having an aroma and then I cut them. Um, but with, in the case of the cracked jackfruit, I cut it right away because I figured that different squirrels and other animals, uh, you know, might just be attracted to it more when they don't even have to go through this sort of hard prickly um, exterior of the, the fruit. So that was uh, sort of a new experience. I hadn't picked a slightly underripe fruit before. And I cut it in half because I actually had two customers who were interested in half of the jackfruit. And it wasn't ripe. Now, what I do with mangoes that aren't ripe but need to be off the tree, like for instance, if a squirrel has eaten, uh, you know, like several bites out of the top of a mango and the rest of the fruit is perfectly good, except for not ripe, uh, what I do is put that in a warm place, a lot of times even in the sun, and then rotate it and so all the sides get the heat and the sun. And I thought, well, why don't we try that with jackfruit? So. I actually had half of the jackfruit remaining because one of those customers that, or potential customers, wasn't interested in a slightly underripe jackfruit. So, took the underripe jackfruit and put it in a big plastic bag so it wouldn't have uh, insects getting on it and. I uh, just put it on the, you know, in this green bin on the back of the golf cart so it was in, you know, 90 degree weather uh, for a few days and it is smelling and feeling like it's perfectly fine. Uh, it just, it smells ready to eat and, you know, of course no bugs because of the plastic bag. So I think that will work with jackfruit as well as it does for mangoes is if you have something that's underripe that you have to ripen it quickly, put it in a warm place.